What is this hand? You know what, this is, this is the price that I pay. If this mill goes wrong, I'm just gonna accept my L like a champion. Never mind. there will be no milling. Oh wait, there will be. I have Cross Out Designator in my hand, duh. All right. I don't have Ash Blossom in my deck. Okay, okay, I put, thank God. I don't have Ash Blossom in my deck and he scooped. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to a new Dr. Vash video slash recording, or video and stream of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And this time we're going to be playing Tier Elements. I know I made this um, video a month ago in the past, but we have new ban list hits. Where the ban list gave Tier Elements the biggest slap in the wrist I've ever seen a deck get. Next to like Zodiacs, when Zodiacs were going crazy for a year. I mean, they did not want to nerf that deck for anything. And TR Elements is the new deck that they do not want to nerf for anything outside of their all the main monsters of two. What they really should do is just ban Kid Kalos. The deck will still be great, but it's just will hit with the consistency because Kid Kalos is pretty much the whole deck at this point. But if they, I, um, as you can see, my version of TR Elements is a pretty spicy version, so let's just hop into the deck profile. We got three copies of Max C. One copy of Diviner the Herald, because on Summit it lets us get any of our Earth Fairies from the deck to the grave, which honestly speaking is pretty much this whole deck where the Mill 5 or Graveyard Control. Unfortunately, they did hit uh, the Mudora and Keldo down to 1. We don't have as much Graveyard Control, but it's still valuable and we can still control games pretty strong with it. And then we have two copies of Carolyn's Merley. Does Merly on Summon Mills three cards and all tier elements when it's the graveyard unless you fuse without using monster from your hand, field, or graveyard, but you have to use the monster of the material. Tier elements work, they when they sink to the graveyard, they are allowed to fuse from the grave using the tilt as material. I run diviner in specific I run diviner in two other decks in my Dogmatica and my Light Sworn deck because dog for both for the Dogmatica deck it's a searcher slash pop, and then in my Light Sworn deck, it's pretty much the whole deck. And also, this card gets uh, Dogmatica going. And then we have one copy of Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise. He's in here. This is an Aqua-type monster, and combined with Rainbow Bridge of Salvation, allows us to get access to our field spell because terraforming is banned because they hate everyone who is not a TR Element player. And now I'm forced to run this dumb <laughs> Rainbow Bridge of Salvation and this turtle because terraforming is banned. It hurts. And then we have one copy of Fairy Tale Snow. I think Fairy Tale Snow is a great addition. Is that even though we don't have many cards to banish, being able to control our opponent's field by putting them face down and getting an extra monster on board is always good. One copy of Supreme C Marimare. He's just another copy of Rhino Heart, but he just does isn't Rhino Heart by name. Uh, on summon, you can send any aqua type monster from our deck to the grave. And I just send what I. You always, if, you, if you're going first, you always send Havness from your deck to the grave. But Havness doesn't have any effects that, that allows you to, to mill three during your turn unless your opponent summons a monster and activates a pet like a buy steal, which is pretty rare because the only one that can really activate his effect turn one is Magna Hut, and he, he's a one of. And th two copies of Havness on uh, opponent's activation of Fett, mill three cards. Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart is on some unless you send any tier element, which lets you fuse instantly for Kit Kalos. Two or one copy of Keldo and Midor. I went through that. Two copies of Kelbeck. Kelbeck lets us send the top five cards from Dick to the Grave. And if Exchange of Spirits in our graveyard, which I run one of because I love it, uh, you can set a trap card from your grave. This can save you from being decked out. Let me tell you, if you actually plan for it and you're not under max C and your opponent doesn't force you to drop, it will save your life if you have one card left in your deck. And then we have one copy of Agito, which Agito lets you mill five, and then if you're a spirit, you mill another five from either player's deck. One copy of Shadow Beast for the spicy summoning Shadow window during your opponent's turn, which I've only done once. Actually, I've done it twice. One time the opponent played through it, that's a whole YouTube video. That was an amazing game by him. He lost, but uh, 
He he played through uh, Shadow of Winda on his turn. I had like four monsters on board. He just he went through and banished my entire field, and he still lost. Uh, By Seal Serenir on when he sent to the graveyard, we can mill one. I kind of want to run three copies of Baldrick. Um, you can increase this to three if you want. I run two. One copy of Druid's Worm. Druid's Worm allows us, we have sent to the graveyard, we can target one spell summon monster, put it back to our hand. We're, we're doing the mid deck explanation audible. We're no take backs. Ball of Drake is bad. <sighs> what do you mean he's bad? One copy of Polymerization because we can search it with King of the Swamp. One copy of Foolish Burial because we can just send one of our millers because that's what we want to choose most of the time. One copy of the Field Spell because if we could run three, we would run three. Two copies of Scream. I didn't pull a third copy, but Scream is amazing, so why we run two. Two copies of Mass Change. Mass Change uh, just lets us get into Mass Hero Dark Law, which, by the way, if you use Mass Hero Dark Law on any of the tier elements on field, it triggers their effects for fusion. And if you discard one of your um, your Ishizu cards, they get their mill effects. So like it's this card right here. I know most people don't run it, but it's just so good. One copy of Designator, one copy of Exchange of Spirit, two copies of Infinite Impermanence. I could get it down to one, but I love two. One copy of Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. One of Crime, it's a counter trap, but you need a monster in hand so it's not always live. And you need a tier elements on field too. One copy of Solik, Solik negates effect and is going to be limited to one. Which again, I don't really see the purpose. Like I can understand handing it to one does mess with the deck's consistency marginally. But the real issue is Kit Kalos and the fact that all the main ones are at two. One copy of Gravekeeper's Trap, which locks our opponent's graveyard and lets us send cards not for effect unfortunately. But we can send a card from our hand to the grave to search out any of the Ishizu cards. One copy of Shadow All Winda limits your you and your opponent to one special summon per turn. One copy of Kit Kalos. Kit Kalos is literally the whole deck. As one mills five, one copy of Dark Law banishes. And if our opponent searches, we banish a card from hand. Cradle Plant Drago Spellia is mostly for recycling fusions and is negate. Rude Kalos. Chimera because polymerization and getting Chimera off lets us draw, fuse, and destroy cards all with one card activation. One copy of Kaleido Heart because Kaleido Heart is, shuffles back cards. Pretty much the deck, they're into floor, negates, and destroy. Abyss Dweller, if we can't have our uh, sacred Gravekeeper's Trap into Exchange of Spirit. Type Thief Redoer because his he detaches for effect. Our Divine Arsenal Zeus, because Zeus is just busted. Dark, Generic Link, Generic Link 2. This one summons a level 2 from Grave. This one sends a level 2 from our deck to the graveyard to enable plays, just in case we brick. And one copy of Underworld Goddess, just so we can get rid of any card that we can't inherently get rid of with all of our other effects. Let's hop to some games. <laughs> when I'm sitting and just doing the games just with no one, or me even mentally thinking anyone's there, I, I sound very dead, I don't say any words, but like especially on stream, it, it kind of forces you to talk even if I know that there's no one here. And I just, I talk through it. Let's take a look at it. I love, I, I technically have a hand trap, but I just love how my entire like opening hand always consists of zero hand traps, right? I'm in platinum! I'm in platinum, guys. This is platinum. Um, I'm actually, as soon as, I I might just be converted to, um, what's that one deck called? I want to take a look at this deck afterwards because it was absolutely pitiful. He was running fire hand, ice hand into the new magic hand. What did he open? To just normal summon solar flare dragon at end. This isn't even this is isn't even like the old deck version. He's running like a modern version of his deck. Why why do you even run Exchange of Spirit? Is this like the ultimate stall deck where you just force your opponent to play endlessly? I am one of the people that if if I'm sitting if I know a game is gonna go 30 turns, I am going to scoop. If like when Elwich was going crazy and I was like running a like a, a mid-range deck, I will scoop if I know a game will go for 30 turns. I do not care. 
You know, I really want to summon Diviner of the Herald. However, if it gets Ash, I just kind of die. There is no recovery if I get Ash, compared to if I normal summon Rhino Heart, I can actually play the game. So we're going to normal summon Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart and then Scream. I just got my field spell too. So I can I can actually hold on to my uh, Rhino Heart, even though I milled both copies of my Infinite Impermanence off of a mill three. Like who cares? Haha, <laughs> not me. I didn't even need that to win. Go back in the deck. No one like you anyways. Alright, let's see if they have infinite impermanence. Yeah, that's the gameplay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add to my hand um, Mer Merly. Activate uh, a field spell. Add Skir into my hand. So what they need to do to tier is ban this card right here. This card is is the issue. And then they need to limit all of them down to one. I'm right, gonna get rid of. Oh, we might just keep this in our hand for a hand trap. Cool. Mill five there. Let's see what we're playing against. Amazon. And we just drew into, oh, this dude's cooked. Absolutely cooked. I've only made one fusion so far, so we are very close. I know I didn't chain this right, but. I see if I got any traps engraved. I guess I got Sulik. Did I get Grave Chiefer's Trap? Alright, let's add this happiness. Dang, only one fusion? Talk about ripped off. <sighs> yeah, terraforming died for this deck sins. I haven't hit any fusion except for one. Pretty crazy. Yeah, there's there's a dark law coming this guy's way. I could I could force him to banish Mel, but there's no point. I hit zero shufflers. All right. Rhino Heart always bounces himself anyways. How many cards are in my deck? Eight cards, and like four of them are fusion materials. I guess I can fuse right now if I just destroy this, huh? Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that actually. It's almost time. See, that that turn, even though it was fairly complicated, was a lot shorter than the Dragon Link's turn. Now, if he normal summons a card, unless he Kaiju's this. If he Kaiju's this, I'll just cry a little bit. No, Baron, stop trying to activate, please. Do this person summon this card. Yeah, I know Amazons are not once per turn effects, so you can't just kind of just have to let this rock. Unless this says you can only e use each effect once per turn. Never mind. I can just negate it. 
I, my luck is so bad. I have like five cards, six cards in my deck. Did I hit all my like, my fusion cards? What's going on here? No, I, I've hit nothing. All right, cool. I'm waiting for the right Gekki or something dumb. Oh, du let's go have this. There we go. Look, it's a fusion, guys. I told you. That quick play is actually pretty nasty. Take on Amazon and say, add to your hand or send to the graveyard. You're doing neither today, son. Three cards left. I guess I can mill back five cards. This is end your turn here, kind sir. Let's get rid of you, because I know your effect's not once per turn. And then last but not least, yeah, this is... Finish that, give me that. That was the card he searched for too. Now let's get rid of this. Now I'm done special summoning myself. Oh. This is super death. I have Dark Law, I can negate a special summon. I can also, he only has one special summon left and he can't be destroyed by card effects. A, a true negate. He has polymerization in his hand, I know that. <laughs> Hi, Athy. Oh no, they're doing the McDonald's debate again. Guys, stop. <laughs> Normal summon, special summon, mill three. Yeah, let's do it like this. We have to hit a card, am I right? Go ahead and ash it, who cares? I still want to fuse though. Okay, I just want to end my turn like this. Hit him with a hit with it. Let's see what I'm playing against. I have no clue what I'm playing against. So the real question is, Havnus, Solik, or... I just want to go for Solik, because even if they destroy Solik, I can still get the search for Havnus. Yeah, he just activated two. This actually might, Master or Dark Law, might not actually be the play against this deck. Oh no. Let's hope that we don't hit a Goaty. This monster is banished. Oh, okay, cool. The war monster is fat. Okay, cool. I 
I hit his second copy of Ready Fusion. You know this guy is absolutely mad. That's what this card does. And you banish one, target one face of card on the field, negate its effects until. Oh, cool! He's not even a quick effect. No, thank you. Okay, so we can't use Kelbeck's effect, because Kelbeck, unfortunately, <laughs> hilariously, um, <laughs> yeah, so if I were to uh, mill the top five cards of his deck, um, they will all get banished, but he wants all of his cards to be banished, so if, if I wouldn't make that, that mistake, I would have been cooked. Yeah, this, this deck right here is absolutely crazy. And I, I don't understand why they, again, in order for this deck to be quote unquote balanced, they need to hit all the tier elements to one. I don't care. Rhino Heart needs to be at one too. I don't care if he can't fuse, he needs to be at one. They, they need to probably hit Scream down to one too, or fully ban it. The field spell has to go. The field spell literally lets the whole deck play the game. Cause you can just add uh, Rhino Heart to your hand and then you have access to Kit Kilos. Kikolos needs to be banned, and then the, and all will be right with the world. But this this deck right here is a true minutes. So thank you everyone who stopped by the video. Uh, just be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I really appreciate everyone who was able to stop by. So thank you.